Are we still there with the picture? Is that good? Yeah, yeah, I can see it. Yeah, yeah I can see it. Oh, good, good, good gun drops. So yeah, this is basically a a, a letter from the uh, attorney at law for Chronicle Collectibles, basically saying the principal owner. Uh, Clay Brown recently met with me to discuss the company's current financial situation so that I may advise a proper course of action. As you know, the company has a very solid relationship with its customers over the years, and Mr. Brown wishes nothing more than to continue doing business uh, with you in the future. However, due to recent unforeseen financial setbacks, which was neither fault nor in its control, the company cannot meet all obligations at present. The company needs some breathing room. Um, to put its financial house in order and to ask you for understanding and support. Specifically, the company is attempting to work with its lenders to modify its long-term debts and seeking special financing to take on new projects with the eye towards improving operating cash flow. Uh, In the meantime, the company is asking you to work with us to find a path that would allow us to meet our obligations to you. We are hoping that by working together, Chronicle Collectibles can be put on a solid footing so we can begin to resume our prior obligations in a short manner of time. We will update you in approximately 30 days with the status of our progress. Thank you for your patience. And that was the 2nd of October. So basically, yeah, Chronicle Collectibles has been um, shown that they've shut shop um, people in... I think it's Denver, went past their store. It was all boarded up. Previous employees are saying that they're not working there anymore. Uh, Licenses are jumping shop and things like that. Um, With this letter, it's kind of like begging for more time. Um, My problem with this is it sounds like basically we're in a fucking really bad position here. We're struggling. Um, We're going to pay out some more pre-orders to pay our debt. So, you know, we're going to use that to pay up our debt. So, you don't, I, don't, I wouldn't follow this anymore. I wouldn't put any more pre orders in, in Chronicle Collectibles, the way it sounds to me. Does, do, you get, do, you, do you hear what I'm saying? Or? Yeah, I, I, I hear what you're saying. I mean, obviously, once I get past the babbling of your beard, I think what you're saying is, is that you wouldn't invest any money into Chronicle Collectibles due to the fact that they are trying to finance new projects with old, for old debts. Which obviously is not no, what you want. You, to you don't finance. want your money going into that because if your money's going into settling their problems and you think you're buying a new fucking Conan piece or a new something else and mm-hmm. all they're doing is trying to clean up the mess they've previously been in, um, where's your Conan piece? Where does that yeah. leave you? Yeah, yeah, leave you in a bit of trouble. So, um, like we told you, as we always tell you, here first, Red Titan. That's why, uh, that's why we do what we do. We've been doing it for the last seven or eight years. Um, get your money out of there. So hopefully people listened. Like we said about a month ago, get your money out of there. So uh, hopefully you will, you're all doing good. And, uh, you know, I understand there's, there's a lot of um, humanists among us and uh, they, you know, they don't want to kick a, a dog while it's down. And I completely get it. But um, at the end of the day, you know, like we used to say in boxing, I ain't show friends, it's show business. So, you know, get in there and get your shit that you need okay. done. Thank you. Oh, what's happening here? Ooh. Yeah, you don't want to walk past that line because you'll be on camera again. Did she just come naked and give you a drink? No. Uh, can't have everything. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, unfortunately, I mean, as I say, I mean, I think that there were a few projects that Chronicle Collectibles were doing that actually got me quite excited. They had the um, life-size Robocop bust. They actually have the older Robocop pieces, which look actually phenomenal. Um, they have the the Ed 209 and the the Kane, um, which I would absolutely yeah. love to have in my collection. Uh, just they're quite expensive, you know. They're obviously doing the um, Gerard from um, uh, Labyrinth. They're doing all these. They're doing that that Jeff Goldblum on you know in that in that that, that yeah, Jurassic, they're doing all, yeah, these, yeah, sure. all these things which you know are quite out there and uh you know they were doing the new hellboy which even though it's a shockingly bad movie the the actual design of uh, the character was still pretty good so there are a lot of elements that they were working on which we're excited to see but problem is is the way that this is worded for me um you know is, is basically a legal bullshit babble way of saying we want you to pre-order our future stuff and that will pay for our older stuff. 
Yeah, and leave uh, your money yeah. in there. Leave yeah, leave your money yeah. in here. You know, we'll you know we're trying to uh, fulfill our obligation to you, and we're going to try and bring you some projects that's going to help alleviate some of the stress that we're under. Um, yeah. But you know, that's it. You know, if you you know people sometimes people want to be the good person, they want to be good people, and maybe yeah. hope that this will lead to them helping out the company that they follow and that they care about. And uh, but unfortunately, when you read through the lines here of this legal um, document, like this type of contract this sort of thing that they're saying here that you don't want to be at the other end of this. You don't want to be part of this. This is not a sound investment. So I'd, I'd get your money out of there and I'd certainly wouldn't be putting any back in it. That's for sure. I wouldn't. Unfortunately, I mean, um, as soon as a company uh, is in that position, um, you know, unfortunately I'm not, you know, it may be a selfish from my point of view, but I, if I put money into a company, I'm getting it right back out. I did that with um, Pop Culture Shock when they were going, a bit pear shaped, and um, I took out three grand from them, um, which you know well, I was really happy I did that because half the pieces that came out that I ordered came out really really bad. Um, so you know yeah. I was happy I did that. 